Happy weekend, everybody. This is D.B. Pollen from AmbientVibes.com. What we have here today is another module from After Later Audio. Now, this module is one of the first in what they are calling their Heritage line of modules. Now, the Heritage line of modules are going to be providing some basic modules, oscillators, uh, envelopes, LFOs, and what have you, uh, both economically in terms of price. Around $100 price point is what uh, Lenny at After Later Audio says he's trying to shoot for. And also in terms of size, each of the uh, modules that they will be producing are going to be around 6 HP in size. So that will be great if you have a set size of a case and you want to fill your case full of these modules. You'll know exactly how many will fit in there and you can mix and match. Uh, speaking of cases, I have also heard a rumor from them that they are looking at building an entire series of these modules that possibly can become a complete synthesizer, including possibly manufacturing a case around them. So that would be a very welcome uh, addition to the modular synthesis world for those of you that would like to start out with some, uh, with some basic modules, learn the ropes, and then get into more complex modules later. But don't be fooled. With these modules, you can get into some very, very complex patches. Uh, you probably see just out of camera range here, you'll see a couple other modules that I'll be reviewing a little bit later, one of them being a Turing machine and another being an envelope generator. So the first module that we have today is the BOSC, which is an oscillator. This is based on the CEM3340 chipset. Now, those of you may know that the 3340 chipset it's a pretty well-known chipset in the synthesizer world. It is uh, used in the Roland SH-101 as well as the Prophet 8. I'm sorry, the Prophet 5. So um, this, uh, this oscillator is, uh, is extremely versatile, extremely nice sounding, uh, a very, very versatile core. It is a triangle core, as you can see the triangle on here right now. And uh, it is an oscillator, which I'm sure you will find to be very, very versatile in whatever patch you want to put it in. Now, taking a look at this module, you can see that there are four outputs. We have a triangle, we have a sine, saw, and a pulse. Of course, starting with the triangle, it's a pretty stable wave, as you can see. Let's bring up the volume. and fine controls, a sine, a sawtooth wave, and a pulse wave. And a pulse pulse width wave has pulse width modulation. also is very versatile in terms of it has an LFO, so it'll bring it down to much lower octave range. Anything from a few hertz up to audio range. The range of this module is five octaves. Now you'll also notice that this module has a sync input. Now there is a, an adjustable uh, sync input jumper on the back. Uh, you can switch it between hard sync and soft sync, and I believe it is defaulted at a hard sync, but the option to change it to a soft sync is available. There is also a jumper on the back, which you can use to change the LFO range from uh, eight seconds up to 80 seconds. So uh, this module does have a few tricks up its sleeve by, uh, by way of jumpers on the back. It also has an FM input with, uh, with, uh, with a tenuverter, and we'll get into that in a second. So let's, let's listen to this module. Thank you. 
have going on here is a very simple sequence coming out of the variegate four, uh, going through a, uh, a precision adder from Dopefer, and then into my uh, my ADAC 207 quantizer, and coming back into the module and the full per octave input. sounding module very well built the design is great uh, it's a very stable wave coming out uh, it sounds as good if not better than a lot of other oscillators that I have in my system that cost uh, 100 or 200 dollars more so it's it's a really good addition to, uh, to the after later audio lineup Let's plug in a little FM I have some uh, I have an output from my plats Also, I guess you can say, uh, call it a Bosk 6HP triangle core based on the SEM 3340 chipset. Uh, it will be available very shortly in October. I believe that uh, Lenny is, is uh, planning on, uh, on rolling it out at the Velocity event here in Seattle. I encourage everyone who is able to, to come and join us. Uh, he'll have a couple more modules for show out there, and I'll try to get those demoed before the event starts under the, under the gun here and trying to get these demos out. Uh, but again, this is a fantastic sounding module, very economical, around 100 bucks. Not going to set you back that much at all. Very well sounding, very proven core uh, chipset. 
and uh, a welcome addition to either a starter kit or just as an extra oscillator in your current setup. So I'll leave you with a little bit more here. Alright, I put together an example patch of what the B oscillator can do. So I have multiple outputs coming out of there. I got the uh, saw wave coming out, as you can hear. And I have a sine wave coming out and going into the plats, into the FM input of the plats. The output of that plats is then coming back into the BOSC, into its FM input, and is, um, is modulated by an envelope as well. The other output of the plats is going into a monsoon. Uh, the BOSC is going through a filter 8 and then into a, uh, a mimeophone by Make Noise, a new module. And all that is going out into my mixer. The sequence that you hear is being, is being uh, driven by a Turing machine, also a Heritage Line module, which I'll review at a later point. Let's give a listen. 